Let's get your Phoenix starting lineup. At the small forward position, number zero, Kia Nurse. At point, number four, Skylar Diggins Smith. At the other guard position, number three, Diana Tarasi. The other forward, number 33, Emma Misawa. Starting at center, number 42, Brittany Greiner. The head coach of your home team, once again, your Phoenix Mercury. Hey folks, welcome into some WNBA action on 2K Sports. In this game, we'll see the Seattle Storm going up against the Phoenix Mercury. Here with Tim Swartz and Brian Banifatemi, I'm Blake Suniga, and it's good to have you with us. Well, tonight we have two teams that put in work on the boards. Great rebounders. So what should we look for tonight? Well, second chance points, that's going to be a key number to look at. And you always want to limit those opportunities for the opposition any night but tonight there should be even more of those chances well for me i'm looking for who plays with more passion most teams are used to pushing opponents around down low so what happens when they face someone who is also great on the board outside lloyd to the middle russell he's guarded by griner they get it back and here's sue bird outside and she's good on the three ball well, Sue Bird knows that she has the green light to fire away, and she goes up with confidence off the catch. Reiner with the screen. Here's to Rossi. It's tipped! And they'll keep possession. Reiner, shot is good. And the Storm with possession. Stewart, Misamon covering. Good D by Emma Misamon. The D was ready for her that time, and they had to be. She is strong in the paint. Here's Nurse. Pass to Misamon. The shot misses. Now Seattle takes it the other way. Here's Stewart. The shot from the low post yeah, is Stewart. good. They tried to increase the degree of difficulty for Stewart. Didn't matter. She has the strength and focus to take a bump and make the basket. Now here's Tarasi. Over Lloyd. And the basket by Tarasi. Diana Tarasi. A little over a minute and a half into this first quarter. Inside, here's Stewart. Lays it up and banks it in. Unselfish play from Jewel, Jewel Lloyd right there. She's all about getting the ball to uncovered teammates. Tarasi with it. And Russell picks her up defensively. And that one drops. Here's Seattle. On the wing, Jewel Lloyd to the inside. Brianna Stewart yeah. again. Nice start as she's knocked down three of her first four shots and has hit the ground running in this contest. It's snatched up. Here's Diggin oh. Smith. And so Storm she foul. draws the foul on the shot. Yeah, a trip to the line to shoot First two. personal foul, teams first. At 5'9", she's foul. never going to be the tallest player on the, the floor. But Skylar Dickinson, she finds ways Skylar to be effective inside. Big defenders in the foul. And first trip to the free throw line for her in this one. Discussing the multiple-time All-Star Skylar Diggins-Smith, now a seasoned vet in this league. The leadership and wisdom she offers is valuable to any locker room. And good on both. And you gotta love Diggins Smith continuing to get it done. Someone that can help nurture and develop younger players. Uh, you can tell, you know, Skyler has the respect of her teammates. Someone who leads by example from the point guard position. And her squad really rallies around her. And she was fouled on the way up. Two free throws for her. 
Defenders get anxious against prolific scorers like Misaman, and I think it's really because she doesn't let opponents take a single play off. And she knocks down the first one. And so she makes both from the line. Oh, man. Talk about incredible focus. Bistamon's one of the best free throw shooters for her position. Pass to Magdagor. It's good, and she makes her first shot of the game. They'll take as many of those high percentage shots as they can make. Hard to the outside. Now Misaman. Here's Nurse. Five to shoot. The 10-footer. Hartley outside. Nurse. And again, Phoenix no good. As far as, you know, a jumper will go, that's as high percentage as it gets. Stephanie, Seriously, I, I don't know how that one didn't Katie fall. Lucena. Their crisp passing has opened things up offensively. Yeah, it makes the game easy. Ten straight points off of an assist. Um, that's impressive. Now, here's Griner. Pass to Cunningham. Beesom on outside. With the fadeaway, now in the scoring column with that goose. One for two this game. Timeout Seattle. Get ready for the fifth squad! Kicking in for your Mercury. Brianna Turner, Megan Walker. The storm trail. Pass to Stewart. Now Magbagor. She's guarded by Griner. Back to Stewart. Score the basket. Her fourth. And she's only missed one of her five shots tonight. They've shown some great passing on their last few trips down the floor. You gotta imagine that. Their coach is very happy with that. Four straight passes leading the score. That's just great team play. Well, you consider that she's a guard. Rhea hardly relishes finding open teammates. Outstanding pass right there. to Walker. Back to Hartley. It's rebounded by Seattle. One second separating the shot clock and the game clock. Good work it's there as it goes. That makes it 10 of their last 12 points coming from inside the painted area, just dominating down low. And obviously, that's something the defense has to address. She ends the quarter with a money three as the buzzer sounds. They knew exactly what they wanted to do there, and the timing couldn't have been better. You just can't end a quarter better than that. No shortage of scoring here at the end of the first quarter. It's the Storm up by four. And back in a moment as we'll get underway with quarter two. start up. And before we move on, what do you guys think about what we've seen from the Storm? Really good size for them. They've gotten a boost from their bench. Always nice to have firepower coming from the reserves, and they've had firepower and then some so far. Seattle in the lead. Pass to Lloyd. Russell. 
Parked down low that time and got hit with the three second call. Phoenix Mercury Ball. Checking in for your Phoenix Mercury, Kia Nurse. And here is Hartley. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game for her. In 2020, Rhea Hartley made the move to Phoenix and was having a breakout season with the Mercury before unfortunately suffering a torn ACL that ended her season. Now here's Bird. Here's Lloyd. Shot clock at five. Here's Magbagor. And there's Eddie two Magbagor. points. Work on the glass, paying off that time. Not enough bodies on the glass right there, and they paid for it. And it'll happen again and again if they don't put more effort into boxing out. And that's what it's all about, Brian. Rebound. Effort. Nurse. Murder. And that comes Jesus. off the assist by Kia Nurse. And before her injury, Hartley was averaging new career highs in scoring, assists, steals, and shooting percentages. And she became such a crucial piece of that uh, Mercury lineup. It, it makes you wonder how far Phoenix could have gone if Priya Hartley was available for that 2020 postseason run. I, I think it really would have helped that team a lot. And here are the Storm now. They lead by four. Pass to Magbagor. Over Turner. Magbagor, no good. Well, I'm going to say the defense got pretty lucky right there because she's going to make a lot more of those than she misses when she gets that much room. Now here's Hartley. She hasn't scored yet. That, I'm sure, will change. Hits it from three-point range. You know, since being drafted back in 2014, Hartley has really improved her shooting from long range, making her that much tougher to guard. Chance there to take the lead, missing. Bird right side. It's good. Nice work inside. Hard to get that one to go over the bigger defender. Well, it was never going to be easy. A little artistry on the inside. Call it maybe a Rembrandt. And a little under two and a half minutes gone by here in this second quarter. Now Nurse. Here's Greiner. And they convert at last on attempt number three. You know, throughout her career, I don't think Reiner's got the credit that she deserves for her effort. The second chance points she generates are just so cute. They show her hustle. Here's Samuelson. No scoring yet from her, but that's likely to change. Russell misses. The Mercury trail. Two minutes. It's Kia Nurse on the wing. And the Mercury, another three. And back and forth we go. That bucket gives us another lead change. And there have been too many of those to count. These teams have matched each other. Shot for shot, play for play. Man, I hope this game keeps on going forever. Now here's Russell. And it's Cunningham with the rebound. First outside, Reiner. Closing in on four minutes played here in the second quarter. Uses the glass to finish the layup. Defensively, they're on their heels every time the ball comes inside. And if they don't start showing some aggression, things are just going to get worse. Get ready for the third The Storm Trail. Pass to Lloyd. 
Can they get it? And she lays it up and in. The body control on her is tremendous. Lloyd is not easily taken off her game. Impressive make. Here's Cunningham. Stewart grabs the miss. Russell. She's guarded by Griner. Now here's Russell. She's tightly guarded. The tray. It doesn't go for her. And it's Phoenix the other way. Pass to Diggin Smith. And here's Griner. That one a little long. One second separating the shot clock and the game clock. Here's Stewart. Good. And Jordan Canada gets the assist. And it's all knotted up. You know, quite simply, few players make better decisions than Jordan Canada. Obviously, the right choice there. Down low. Reiner. Man, she drops in the layup off the glass. That's the area they want to work the ball into. And it takes passing like that to do it. Here's Canada. She got it up in time, but it just wouldn't fall for her. And so it's a close game as we wrap up the first half of play. It's the Mercury up two. And don't go away after the break. We'll see you right back here for the start of quarter number three. contested first half. We've seen Brianna Stewart really having a great game. It's amazing to watch. She spoils us with her performances game in and game out. And so far, another big scoring night for her. And oftentimes, when she puts up that many points in the first half, she follows it up with an even better second half. So we'll see if that happens again here. We have a close ball game on our hands as we get set for the second half to get underway. Outside Lloyd. Stewart. Out to Lloyd. And here's Stewart outside. Trains the three-pointer. How many times have we seen a possession like that from them today? Such a pretty pass. I don't have an exact number for you, but I can tell you it's, we've seen it a lot. Okay, let's just say that. Strictly using assists as the measuring stick, they've been by far the better team. Now here is Lloyd. She gets that one. Jewel Lloyd. Great job to find the open teammate. Stewie has very solid vision. Now here's Diggin Smith, guarded by Bird. And it's Diggin Smith missing. She's killing them with her poor shooting. Stewart, she's covered by Tarasi. Back to Stewart. It's over Tarasi. And it's good. Fought through the contact. Hit the first shot. And she'll go to the line. One of the game's best players. Stewart is the type of player you build your franchise around. Now here's Tarasi. Pass to Griner. Shoots a fader. The basket good off the assist from Diana Tarasi. She threaded the bounce pass in there so smoothly. I'm not sure anyone's made more big shots over the course of their career than Diana Tarasi. If there's a big game on the line, Anybody ever in WNBA history, I want her to have the ball. Now here's Hartley. Rossi outside. Back to Hartley. To the paint. Here's Miesemann. It's stolen by Stewart. Here's the break. And the basket by Lloyd. 
It seems that every pass they make is leading to a score here. Just phenomenal ball movement. Everyone's looking for the best shot, and it's paid off during this run. Here's Nurse. Here's Greiner. Great pass to set up the land. Then maybe Tarazi's made all those big shots because she's played in more big games than anybody. Yeah, I mean, you're talking about a gold medalist and a three-time national champion in college. Super. She's come through in the clutch so many times, she might not even feel pressure anymore. Now a timeout called by Phoenix. We've seen Brianna Stewart really having a great game. She has continued to wear them out inside. They gotta figure out how they plan to contain her. So it's both teams making substitutions here. Just under two and a half minutes into this third quarter now. Pass to Turner. Now Miesemann. Hartley, guarded by Canada. And Miesemann gets it to go. Offensive versatility allows Miesemann to play high or low in the paint. Jordan Canada drives in. Jordan that one Canada. drops for her. We're seeing the shot Super. dropping for them very well now. Yeah, this has been an extremely efficient second half for them up to this point. Their coach has to be happy. Now here's Hartley. Over Canada. And the Mercury tack on two more. The basket. Seattle in the lead. Magvigor. Misamon covering. Right side, Stewart. Canada. A chance there to push it to double digits, but it's off the mark. Rossi outside, Turner a screen, jacks up a three, and again, a Phoenix with the triple. With the beautiful outside stroke, Rossi strikes fear in the eyes of her opponents. Get ready for the next one! The Mercury making a switch here. Megan Walker, Sophie Cunningham. A little under two and a half minutes off the clock now in the third quarter. Pass to Bird. To the wing, right side. Outside Canada. Inside. Stewart with the bucket. She has shot the ball exceptionally well as they've built this lead for themselves. The Mercury Trail. Now here's Miesemann. Fades. Canada grabs the board. Pass to Stewart, to the middle. It's in, and she's a very efficient five for six on the game. They've been getting it inside at every opportunity, and they're getting excellent results. You know, that's a winning formula, pounding the ball down low, being aggressive. You know, they're being very assertive offensively. And two shots coming up at the line as she gets fouled on the shot. Can't be too aggressive guarding Walker. She's good at taking it and getting to the strike. This is her first opportunity at the line this evening. The first free throw is good. falls so she hits both of them improving each year in college Megan Walker went ninth in the 2020 WNBA draft remember Walker's average ballooned from six per game as a freshman to nearly 20 Super. during her junior year which ended up being her final year in school well, I think she, she owes the three-pointer dinner it's been her best friend today no question well it has been today most of her points have been courtesy of her deep ball. Pass to Magbegor. Talbot. Back to Canada. Off the mark there with the three. Now here's Walker. Guarded by Canada. 
Al Walker. Launches a three. It's good. The assist that time from Skylar Diggins Smith. This is where Walker excels the catch and fire game. Megan with such a pure stroke. Out of bounds, it'll go to the Mercury. Boy, did they ever make a mess out of that one. A terrible turnover. Here's Griner. She got it up in time, That's but it couldn't fall for her. That concludes the third quarter. It continues to be an exciting neck-and-neck -neck game. It's the Storm, up three. And we're coming back in just a moment. Get ready for the fourth quarter of action when we return. And now let's take a look at our assist of the game presented by State Farm. This is an easy choice tonight. Look at the precision on this pass. Put it on a platter for her. Yeah, she served her up some tasty room service right there, guys. Sweet dime. Thanks for joining us again as we get set for the fourth quarter. A terrific game so far. Outside, Diggin Smith. She can't get that one to fall. Excellent D there for Mercedes Russell. Down low. Good on the shot. Yes. What a great sight to see. Stewart doesn't need much to get going. And once she does, she is so tough to guard. Harassi. And a foul on the shot. Yes. She'll go to the stripe for two. Second and when she's five. feeling her best, Harassi, one of the all-time efficient Phoenix. scores in the history of this league, really from That's all three levels. Two. And the first one falls for her. And even with the number of seasons she's played, Tarasi oftentimes is still the first option defenses try to take away. And her experience makes that difficult because she understands when, where, and how to get her shots. Plus, she's got a knack for scoring in crucial situations. And that's earned her the nickname White Mamba. Now here is Canada. Pass to Russell. Here's Samuelson. Lloyd, she's covered by Tarasi. Now here is Canada. She's covered closely. The second effort. And Stewart with the lay in. Four of their last five makes came off a high quality shot inside. And that's right out of the textbook. They're having their way down low right now. Now here's Nurse. Back to Tarasi. Clock at six. Pass to Nurse. The basket good off the assist from Diana Taurasi. These defenders are putting up very little resistance to the three-point shot. And it's killing them for the last five makes coming from long range. Get ready for the fierce one! And the Storm making a change here. Lloyd with it. Pass to Samuelson. Russell. Samuelson defended by Nurse. Now here is Lloyd. Shoots over Tarasi. And that one comes up a bit short. To take the lead. And again, a Phoenix with the triple. Boy, right. That's five straight made three pointers. The defense giving up a barrage. Most teams get the message to cover shooters after one or two wide open threes, but they just aren't figuring it out. You go out there and tell them, Brian. Okay, maybe I will. And it's in. They continue to get it inside. The defense struggling to just contain them. And look, when you make five in a row from in tight like they have, it also just takes pressure off of your perimeter, guys. Great point. The moment isn't normally too big for Misaman. If her team needs her, she delivers. To the inside. And Stewart yes. gets it to go. Boy, not a lot of resistance inside, and they're taking advantage. That aspect of this game, uh, the, you know, the play and the paint, has gone almost entirely their way. Absolutely. So calm, so workmanlike. Griner is never scared of going after the big hoops. The 
Kick out to Bird. Samuelson. Back to Bird. Six on the shot clock. On the wing, Jewel Lloyd. Pass to Samuelson. The shot's good on the assist by Jewel Lloyd. One of the purest strokes in the game. Samuelson, a feared player from beyond the arc. Mercury making a switch here. Skyler Diggins Smith. And just about three minutes through the fourth and final quarter here. Mesa on outside. Two minutes remaining in the game. Two minutes. Reiner. Pass to Tarasi. Reiner. Guarded by Russell. Storm with the rebound. Lloyd to the middle. Here's Stewart. And the layup's good off the glass. A true threat inside and outside. Stewart's height and touch, they allow her to be effective down low. Now here's Tarasi, covered by Lloyd. Solid defense from Brianna Stewart. Seattle leading. Lloyd. And the Storm tack on two more. I love when Lloyd takes these quick shots because she doesn't give the defense any time to react. Here's Diana Barossi from the arc. That's in. It's her fifth field goal. And she's shooting hot 71%. Five for seven. Third outside. Shoots over Diggins Smith. It's good. Assistant. It's the forgotten Mercedes part of the Russell. floor, the in-between area. But Bird still knocks them down from here. Catches opponents off guard. Pass to Griner. And Samuelson pulls it down. She's a very strong finisher, guys. I'm surprised that she wasn't able to power that through the defense. Outside, it's in, and she has brought them within two points. Since the start of the fourth, Brian, that three-point shot has really been there for them. Yeah, doing an excellent job, Tim, of finding the open teammate on the perimeter this quarter. The three-pointer is a major weapon for them right now. And the Mercury call time here. What's your take, guys? It all comes down to this. Enough time still on the clock that they should be able to get a good look. Yeah, there's always the debate of whether to take a two to tie or a three to win. But if it were up to me, I'd pound it down low and try to get a good shot in tight. I'm with you, Brian. Just, just get the two points and keep the game alive. They need every bucket they can get here. They're still alive, but they better execute every trip down the floor or their chances aren't looking too good. Number three, Diana Taurasi. Can't knock in the three. And so the big win by Seattle in That's a tight game. game. And they break the hearts of every fan in the building with a dramatic late victory. This is a win they should take a ton of pride in. They battled with everything they had and came through when the pressure was at its highest. So that's gonna do it for this one, folks.